Hello and welcome to the latest Zebra BI product update. I'm Mattia and today I'll introduce a long awaited new feature inside of Zebra BI charts, the compound annual growth rate arrow. This new feature really allows you to display compound annual growth rates directly inside of your charts. It provides a much cleaner picture of long term performance beyond just short term fluctuations. The Kager arrow, as it's also known, is added to the annotation layer of the chart. It automatically calculates and visualizes growth over time as a smooth and steady trend. You can add the Kager arrow by simply clicking on the Kager arrow icon in the annotation layer. This makes it ideal for communicating consistent long-term growth, something that over-year changes can't always do. In this example, Kager arrows are applied to both the main EBITDA trend and to small multiples by business unit. The arrows help quickly highlight performance trends such as Aussie cars, negative 4.5% Kager, which reveals sustained decline despite a slightly recovery in 2022. Or LATAM's SUV strong 14.2 Kager, which reflects consistent growth and improved operational performance. You can download this PBIX example from the description below and try it for yourself. Let's continue with more financial examples. We're comparing annual KPIs for major FMCG companies like Nestle, PepsiCo, Coca Cola, and others. Each small multiple shows actuals over the past four years. With Kager arrows on, you immediately see who is growing and at what pace. Nestle has a slight drop in the latest year, but the long-term Kager still shows a healthy 3.3%. Others, like Diego Mondeles, are growing at double-digit rates. This is great for strategic planning, investor communications, and market positioning. Now let's compare top-line and profitability growth. If we focus on Nestle, like we said, the revenue Kager stands at 3.3% and indicating stable but modest growth over the last four years. However, if we now use Power BI's interactivity and change here to EBITDA, the EBITDA Kager of Nestle, as we can see here, is just 1.3%, showing that profit growth has lagged behind sales. This widening gap suggests increasing input costs, margin pressure, or a shift in product mix. While revenues remain resilient, Nestle will need to focus on operational efficiency to translate sales momentum into sustainable earnings growth as well. This use case really highlights the importance of looking beyond top-line performance to assess the quality of growth and how Kager arrows can really help you with this. Now for some sales. We've applied Kager arrows to uncover long-term trends across markets. Europe is the only region with a positive Kager at 2.9%, despite a sharp drop in the latest year. Meanwhile, North America, Asia and Pacific and the Middle East are all showing declining trends. And Latin America really stands out with a steep 27.1 Kager. This kind of regional view could really help you highlight where growth is resilient and where sales efforts or market strategies may need to be revisited. All right. Next, let's move to SaaS reporting. We turn to product ARR performance using Kager to highlight sustained trends beyond annual volatility. High growth products like Vision Zoom, Inbox Chimp, and Pixel Forge are compounding strongly, signaling successful product market fit and expansion potential. In contrast, Store Vista, Nexus Prospect, and Test Sphere show early signs of deceleration, with negative year-over-year -year changes despite modest positive Kager pointing to recent headwind or churn risk. This view can really bring clarity to portfolio performance, helping prioritize investments in products with durable growth while identifying areas that may require retention strategies or commercial reevaluation. So, why then is this feature really important? Well, it helps you move beyond volatile data points and show what's really happening over time. It enables smarter decisions based on long-term trends and, of course, it's IBCS compliant, meaning it's clean, standardized and intuitive for any stakeholder. And if you're switching from office tools, this is a major feature you will not want to miss. Currently, the Kager Arrow only works on actual data, but support for comparison charts is coming in the future. So remember, whether you're reporting financials, sales, or SaaS growth, this new arrow will help you tell a clearer, more strategic story. We also made some improvements to our tables visual, and you can read the full list of changes in the changelog. Link is in the description below. That's it for this update. 
Thanks for watching, and as always, happy reporting with Zebra BI.